What is going on guys, it is Blink here back with a new guide. Now in this guide we'll be talking about a few different fighting situations. Anyways guys, let's get to this guide. So in this first example, we're both pretty low on HP coming out of the storm and with this type of HP you're not in a good spot. Now you'll have to play these situations very carefully. So what I do here is not attempt to take a shot when this player is moving. I wait until he stops moving because that guarantees a down on him. Missing the shot will result in him and his teammate knowing where we are. So once he stopped moving, I took the shot and I go for the bouncer push. We've now got ourselves a 2v1 situation against his teammate which makes it much easier on us. Now we do eliminate him and he's got no meds. As we do that, his teammate tried pressuring us, although there's two of us which gave us an easier time with the fight. So in this situation, making smart decisions is key. I never took any risky snipes because one missed shot can make the situation even worse than it is. So if you guys are in a situation with low health and you've spotted a few opponents up ahead, try waiting for one of them to stop just so you have a guaranteed elimination or knock. Or if you're beside a bunch of buildings then I recommend you check for any sort of heals around especially if you don't have any bandages. Most players will leave bandages or even medkits. So to conclude this example, if you're in a similar situation, just make sure you're patient with your snipes because one shot is all it takes to make or break the situation. Now this next example is just a quick little trick on making the end game easier if your opponents are hiding inside. If you know your opponents are down at the bottom, using traps above the house will slow their push and keep them in the storm longer because they'll have to shoot down the traps in order to keep moving forward. I was a little late on the placement but it did slow these players down from pushing. Once they stood inside that storm for just a few seconds, I went in and took the last few shots for the finisher. So to conclude this example, using traps above whether someone's boxed in or they're just inside a house will delay them from getting into the safe zone. Here's one more quick example about rotating towards the safe zone while being pressured. It was a 1v2 and the moment one of these players tried building down, I shot his platform down and he ended up taking a little bit of fall damage which resulted in him getting lost in the storm. Now that puts me in a 1v1. As I'm building into the safe zone, you guys can see I'm building walls to the south because that's where my opponent is. You also want to make sure you're not building too high because you're in risk of taking fall damage. As I drop myself lower, I place down a staircase and the moment I drop, I spot this player and I instantly place walls to block him from getting into the zone. Remember, the zone hits hard and blocking your opponents in will result in him taking a lot of damage. Surprisingly, you might be in this type of situation pretty often. So building behind you to block your opponent from getting in is a great way of still applying pressure as you both get in. Now, one last quick tip I want to mention is that if you're building up to a mountain and you start getting shot at, make sure your ramps are connected to the mountain. This avoids your whole ramp structure from collapsing with just one break. That mountain connection point means your opponent has to shoot down the ramp you're on in order to drop you. So anytime you're building up to a mountain, connect those ramps to keep yourself safe. Well guys, that's it for this guide. Hope it can help some people out and a like and a sub will be greatly appreciated as it does help me out a lot. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day and night and I'll see you on the next one.